We're here on the Gold Coast at 20 East Cedar, which is one of the classic Gold Coast buildings, built in 1924, by, and the architects were Fugard and Knapp. Correct. And Sandra Kite is going to show us two different units on the second and 17th floors. Correct, right? yes. When did this building go condo? It won condo in the 60s. Uh, won condo in the 60s. Some of them are duplexes, some of them weren't. And uh, the units you're going to see is one duplex and one one floor unit. Oh, great. But both unique and both completely redone. And very different from one another. Very different from one another. Great, let's yes. go in and look. Okay. Uh, the first one we're going to see is the duplex. This, this, this building, I lived here for 12 years, and this building really is like a New York building. It is. It's got that classic feeling, feel. it's like a lot wonderful. of buildings in New York. Loads of space. Everyone is different. Uh, should we walk through the kitchen first? You know, I think we should go to the kitchen first because I know we want to hold the surprise of the living room right. for a minute. Let's go in here. Uh, this is a fabulously done designer kitchen. Oh, it really is. Slate floors. And the slate floors, we should point out, actually have texture. This is, yes. you can see that it, yes. I mean, this really feels like a rustic kitchen. And you have granite, you have stainless, you have nickel hardware, sub-zero refrigerator. Got the sort of bar a area. Little wine cooler here. Yeah. He redid all the doors, so it has the wood trim and the glass. So Can we get that? These. All. Now these are not the original doors. No. This is no. And I think we'll see more interior doors that are like this I mean, with the glass panels. Many That's people that live here enhance the moldings, mm -hmm. enhance the woods. But the woods are usually this is probably the wood that was here. The floor. The floor, but oh, they finished it and changed it and stained it. This floor is amazing. It's like silk. It is. It's a it's, really. It's gorgeous. Great and this floor. is the dining room, which he has a pool table in, but it's a full dining room. Right. Yeah. Well, you can tell. Yeah. In the Beverly Hills. Billies, this was called the fancy eating room. Right. <laughs> right. But this is what we really have to see. This living room. Now, originally, every unit was two stories like this, right? I believe so. I believe so. And this, this is a two-story. You could see the bedroom up there through the area. Yeah. Twenty-four foot ceiling. With great plaster work. Yes. Beautiful clover yes. leaf plaster. Central air conditioning. This is space pack air conditioning. Oh, they've put in air conditioning. Oh, yes. that's wonderful. And and this is a gas range. And over here is cathedral. Our cathedral windows. Beautiful so, wall of windows. That's and terrific. You're, you're like looking out at a house here. I mean, this yeah. is what this is, and, and it's wonderful. Did we even mention this? This beautiful fireplace. The fireplace. This is this wonderful. Gothic arch. This is wonderful. Right. And this is wood burning. Yeah. You could do you could do gas, you could do wood burning, you could do wood burning with the starter. Not all the apartments have fireplaces. Not all the condos in this building do have fireplaces. Not all are air conditioned. But they all have some piece they of the classic have something feeling. That's, something left. Each right? one is fabulous. Yeah. Really, each one is wonderful. These stairs are amazing. Should we go on up? This is yes. terrific. Very this dramatic. is painted concrete stairs, but it I mean I can imagine in the twenties sort of coming down coming this in down my tux. These steps. Right? right, yes. Coming down to greet my dress and my my guests in my tuxedo. <laughs> this is a great either TV room or den, and it's done beautifully. Oh yeah. Uh huh. And they have a, a big TV here, but this could also be a closet if you want with one of the newer right. televisions. And you have the balcony here. Oh which, yeah. Which overlooks the living room. That's it, wonderful. You yeah. know, we don't build like this anymore, the two-story with no, the look down no. above. And down some below. of them actually are closed here. Oh, really? Yeah, oh, that's this is what left, a waste. This is left open. And, and let's get another look at these these doors. We saw a again, larger one, but this is terrific. Has with the glass panels. Wood with the glass. So not, it doesn't feel like a heavy apartment. Yeah, it really does open yeah. up. That's uh -huh. great. And then he has a very unique washroom here. So you could take a look at stone. Oh. Oh, it's more stone. We had that nice stone in the kitchen, and then we've you got have more texture here. State of the art shower, the overhead shower, yeah. handheld shower, glass sink bowls. Right. Going with the lightness we right. have in the doors. Exactly right. And it's a very nice size, spacious yeah, uh, washroom. So now we're coming into one, we're on the 17th floor now of 19, right? Exactly. And this is a larger unit. This is a one-story unit as opposed to that two. Right, and it's three, over 3,000 square feet, and it has a very large entry. This is nice. So it's very, and beautiful fixtures, and we're going to walk into the living room first. This unit has more closets. It's a tremendous amount yeah, of closets. You see them on both sides here. Yeah, you see them throughout. And now we're into the living room down 
dining room area. I was going to say, you've got this nice long entry. It had better deliver us to something nice, and look what it does. It's gorgeous. It's a very wow. bright apartment. Windows on all sides. That's the Gothic window. The, this would be the upper part of those, those windows we were seeing below. Right, and this is a Gothic window. It's the nice. only unit in the building that has this window. Oh, and really? The only unit that has this window ah. in the building. And the library, she just finished last year. And when she wow. did this, she did the door. She's, you know, we have the step up. All the woods are done. And behind that library is a washroom with subway tile. Oh, nice. So the this room is like a little jewel box. It's, it's done right. so nicely and sort of sits off here by itself. It's wonderful. And this could be used as a study. Her, there's an office here with a desk. Oh, wow. Yes. And these windows, so we're, we pointed out we've got windows on three sides, oh, but here yeah. the city really comes right in on us. Right. Wow. This really nicely your done. This is south. And this is west, west, and now you're facing north. Great. So you get all, all the views. I get all the best sun, too. You do. You don't really have to worry about morning. Oh, that's Not terrific. And then you have your washroom off of here, your powder room, which is a full bath. Right. Subway. Really nice molded, great woodwork, yes. beautifully detailed. Like the one downstairs, this feels as if this could be all original. I mean, this has a feeling yeah, of the and 20s. She tried to, she's an architect designer and just terrific, and she tried to keep it in that motif. As if somebody moved in here in 1924 and exactly. never changed a thing. Exactly. Except for the kitchen. Now, one thing we know for sure is the kitchen is a whole lot bigger than it would have been then because I'd have a small kitchen and a maid's quarters, right? Yeah, this was the, the maid's quarters is still behind there with another maid's room and bath. Oh. That's behind here. This was the kitchen and dining room. Oh. And what she did was she put the dining room in the massive living room. Right. And she opened this up because living today is the open kitchen. Sure. All the top of the line appliances, double oven, sub-zero refrigerator, freezer, uh, double ovens, warming tray, gas range. Wonderful. Marble tops. And light like crazy. Light all over. Oh, great. Shall we, can we take a look at the master? Sure. I know we've got a little, a, a nice little secret panel in the master, right? Yes. All right. This is the master. We really get that deco feeling. She's got the, the black trim and the white walls. Right. It really goes back to that period. She, nice big master. She made, she knocked down from the hallway and made a huge steam shower, whirlpool tub, vanity, marble. This is one of the closets we have, which is a wonderful walk-in with drawers. And then there's another, right? You've mentioned right. that there's one hidden. And there is another closet that she took from the second bedroom and made another walk-in closet. Uh, so it's tucked into the wall, uh, exactly. panel tucked into the wall, and then exactly. we've got a big closet. And then here, she doesn't do it, but you have a big dresser over mm -hmm. here. By the way, the building itself has huge storage closets. Each one has, it's not like a cage. All the way down like in the basement? Room. There's two levels down oh, there for storage, yeah. Wonderful. And again, each room is very bright here, too. This room is full of sun. And yes. it, it just, it again, it feels like it might have been this way in the 20s and exactly. the 30s. Even this the fixture. She, and part of her pieces are from all over the world. Oh, yeah? So she picks them up from all over. Wonderful. The, and one of the nice things about this bedroom is I've got the view of the terracotta on the outside of the building. Yes. I can really see the detailing of my own building. Yes, Just and great. this is the only room that has this wall here, and there's the terrace from another apartment. Oh, wow. Yes. Wonderful. Yes. These are terrific.